performance, Mr. Dave Parasak. Thanks for joining us yet once again here on the spectacular Ford SEMA stand. Uh, we've got some great news for you this morning, including a product announcement that I'm excited about. So thanks for giving us a minute of your time. Uh, we've already started the day out with a bang. Uh, we took three SEMA awards, if you haven't heard, for the hottest car, the hottest truck, and the hottest sport compact. Uh, thank you, good, thanks. Very proud of the Ford team. I think we're the first manufacturer to actually win all three. What do you guys think of this Ford stand? Oh yeah! I want to do a shout out to Kevin Keeling and his team. Uh, they worked tirelessly to make this happen, so if you could just help me with a round of applause. What a fantastic job they've done. Now if anybody is wondering about Ford's commitment to racing, performance, and aftermarket parts, I think you can see for yourselves that we are all in on performance. And we do this for our fans and our customers who love it just as much as we do. Now when we announced the new global uh, uh, Ford uh, um, performance group in December, some people were wondering what that was all about. And you can see here today some of the results of, of what that is. It's really a combination. What Ford Performance has done is combining globally our performance uh, product teams together, so SVT, Team RS, and then it's also merging that with Ford Racing and Ford Performance Parts. The new group is led by me out of Dearborn, Michigan, uh, and it's under the product development group within Ford. And that really enables us to develop technology quickly and iterate it in our racing and our performance cars, and then ultimately get it into the Ford Performance Parts Catalog, which is the ultimate goal. Now we know that nothing inspires like winning on the racetrack, and we're harnessing that passion uh, as we innovate technologies for you what we call innovation through performance. And innovation through performance is focusing in three main areas. In light weighting, aerodynamics, and EcoBoost. All modifications that should be pretty familiar to those who are looking to increase performance. Now the coolest part of all of this, uh, of innovating in these areas, is that it's gonna improve the efficiency of all of our Ford products globally. And not just in the performance offerings, where obviously you'll see that technology emerge first. Now speaking of performance, We've got plenty for you and more on the way. Right behind me, the all new Ford GT. Uh, this is gonna take us back in, uh, to Le Mans in June. Really excited about that. And to the right of me over there, in the fan cave, you can see the road version of the car uh, debuting so the triple sick. yellow color. It's so absolutely dope. stunning. We've got the all new Raptor that's gonna debut next year. And you're probably gonna hear some racing news about that soon. So stay, stay tuned on that one. We've got almost 30 builds. Uh, of our current Ford products that you see around me right now. Uh, and we're sure that you're going to go to Ford out front and look at some additional builds that are there as well. We've got a couple surprises that are obviously sitting to the left and right of me that we'll be talking about in a minute. And then right over here we've got the all-new global and U.S.-bound Focus RS. Now this RS is not just a typical RS. You can see that it's uh, had a little work done to it by a good friend of ours, Ken Block, and for a very good cause. Uh, Ken's actually in Las Vegas right now as he's finishing up the final round of the Global Rally Cross Series. He's going to be racing his Fiesta ST uh, near the MGM Grand uh, tomorrow. And uh, even though he's got a busy schedule, we we're able to grab him and bring him here today. So everybody help me bring Ken Block up to the stage. Thanks for squeezing me in first. You know, I like to be first. Yeah, you do. Like <laughs> and like everyone else, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, this brand new all-wheel drive Focus RS here in the States. Uh, I've been very fortunate to be involved in the development uh, of this car and its new torque vectoring all-wheel drive setup. Some of you might have seen me in the RS development, actually, you know, as we developed and tested the car on Ford's YouTube channel. They've done a very good series about the about the development of the car. And Ford was uh, kind enough to give me one early here and tweak it out a little bit. As you mentioned, it is for a very, very good cause. So I've done just a little bit of work with it, uh, which is a very spectacular car given the, uh, the very powerful EcoBoost engine. So it's right out of the gate, it's a great package. And I can't wait to get my own uh, that I actually get next month. Yes, you do. Yes. 
What's right. more interesting for everyone here today, actually, is the fact that this particular car is being raffled off, and you can buy tickets to win it here at the Ford SEMA stand or at Ford out front. Only 10 bucks gets you a ticket and a chance to win this new car, uh, all to benefit the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, uh, a group dedicated to the elimination of type 1 diabetes. So, if you get a chance today, please, please, please buy a ticket to help JDRF. It's really, really a great cause. And uh, I'm headed over now to, to start practice for Global Crop. Global Rally Cross, so wish me luck. Thank you. Thanks, man. Good luck out there. Another great competitor uh, and a friend of Ford is Vaughn Gittin Jr. Uh, Vaughn's been bringing uh, championship Mustang performance to the drifting world for about a decade now. And many have been asking with the all new Mustang, which I had some involvement with, uh, when we would see Vaughn in a new Mustang. And I think there's no better way to get that answer than to bring Mr. Vaughn Gittin Jr. up on stage right now. everybody, good morning, hope everyone's having fun. Some exciting things here uh, today. Uh, I'm a world champion drifter and I've been competing with Ford and Mustang uh, for the last 10 years. And like everyone else, I was pumped to see an all new Mustang uh, when it was launched. You know, an all new platform is always a great opportunity to, to raise the bar and the fully redesigned suspension has provided an awesome platform for an all new competition spec drift car. You know, Vaughn, I was told earlier that I hear that there might be some carbon fiber under that silk. But... Well, I don't think we're necessarily trying to be like the GT. We're just trying to keep up with all the light weighting that you guys at Ford are doing. And as you know, there's huge gains to be made by dropping weight. That's it. So why don't I show you my uh, brand new competition spec for Mustang RTR. Let's show them, guys. new suspension and stiffer chassis you know, we we know we have the advantage we need to take on any make around the world so make sure you guys come up after the press conference check the car out and uh, you'll definitely be hearing it at Ford out front screaming at 9,000 rpms all week so make sure uh, just follow the tire smooth and come check us out we look forward to seeing you all out there thank you all very much long day everybody Thanks, Vaughn, and best luck in 2016, and we will see you at Ford Off Front. Uh, I do encourage that you guys do go to Ford Off Front. Uh, it's really become one of the most popular features at SEMA. Out there, we have a number of displays, including the all-new 2017 F-Series Super Duty, plus the GT350 and 350R, and you're going to actually get some seat time in those hot Mustangs due to an on-track demo program out, the, out there. So please uh, take some time to get involved in that. Here in the stand, we've got uh, near about 28 specialty bills for our aftermarket partners, many of which are featuring Ford Performance parts and accessories. I want to do a shout out to Motoroso.com, who has their own 2015 Mustang GT. It's still left to me, you can't see with all the people. Um, but uh, Motoroso, you can, uh, you, they're, they're uh, Motoroso.com slash Ford SEMA. If you go there, you can get a lot of information about what's happening Motoroso. in the stand today. What Motoroso.com is, it's sort of like a interactive Instagram uh, for enthusiasts and was one of the 10 Techstars mobility programs selected last December when we announced the Ford Performance Group. Techstars is an accelerator for tech startups. It provides selected teams with capital and access to massive network uh, of mentors, corporate partners, and investors to help launch new businesses, including our own Bill Ford. Uh, we'd also like to thank Alex Littlewood, who's here with us today, he's the founder of Motorosco.com, for all of his support on the Ford SEMA Builders website. Um, I highly encourage you to check out Motorosco.com, take advantage of the SEMA display, and dive a little bit deeper on all these great vehicles. Now, if we talk about going a little bit deeper, let's look at this car behind me. And, oh, we got the Michelin Man. This is the Michelin Man. I don't know if you guys have seen the announcement this morning, but Ford and Michelin have an alliance in respect to tires for our performance vehicles. Uh, in addition to being a technical partner uh, and on a return to Le Mans with the GT. Michelin is also, we're going to work with Michelin to, uh, on tire development for our production vehicles as well. 
And this includes custom engineered Michelin, Michelin pilot uh, performance tires for the Ford GT, the GT350, 350R, Focus ST, Fiesta ST. Also, we have Goodrich tires for the upcoming F-150 Raptor. So we're really excited about our new partnership with Michelin, and thank you for showing up. Uh, now, speaking about our return to Le Mans, uh, very excited about it, you saw the video, and for those of you who are watching closely, uh, that black horse was our little nod to Ferrari. Uh, but no better person to bring up here and talk about our return to Le Mans than Chip Ganassi from Chip Ganassi Racing, one of the most successful American outfits of all time. Help me welcome Chip Ganassi. It, it is. Hey Chip, I'm thinking everybody wants to know, are we out testing? And how's the testing going? Oh boy, are we testing, ladies and gentlemen. We've been uh, we've been to Daytona, we've been to uh, Sebring, we've been to, actually today we're at Homestead. Yep. And uh, putting plenty of miles on the car. We've already done a 12 hour test. Uh, got through that okay. And I'm actually been at 24. We're really happy. <laughs> really happy. This thing, uh, as you know, it's a GT. And uh, for those race aficionados, I got to tell you, this thing responds to changes like a like a real race car, and uh, we're pretty happy about that. I got to tell you. You know, we've been going fast with this program. You know that because you've been a part of it. I don't think people really understand. We're going to debut this in January. I talk a little bit about what that means. Well, if you remember, two years ago we we started our relationship on this stage with the Daytona prototype car, and, that, and we. And that was really the beginning of, of getting the engine ready, getting prepared. We've been working on the project for this long a time. Yeah. You know, two months after that, we won the 12 hours of Sebring. So uh, we're going to debut this car in January at Daytona at the 24-hour. So we have some plans. That's a few months from now. So we have some plans to do the same there and at Sebring again. And then, of course, in June, oh boy. It almost seems like we don't have enough time. <laughs> it's exciting. So everybody should, should hopefully get out to Daytona. Talk to us about the debut because we are racing globally. So we'll talk about we are racing globally. We're going to have two cars in IMSA in the United States here, and then two also in the World Endurance Championship throughout Europe and the East Far East. And talk about the debut in April. That's going to be at debut in April at Silverstone. Looking forward to that. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's just a, it's just a real uh, it's it's a program, ladies and gentlemen, that has so many tentacles worldwide and stirs so much passion through so many people throughout the entire world. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great program to be involved in. Now everybody knows that we're all focused on one race, Chip. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Le Mans. Le Mans. And, and we go back there in June. Uh, we test there in May. Uh, we go back in June. We'll be there with four cars. And uh, we are, I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's the entire focus of, of many, many people, not only in our organization, but in Dearborn as well. Yeah, we're really excited about the return. There's no better way to celebrate 50 years of our, chain, our winning there at Le Mans. So, Chip, I just want to thank you. I know you're a busy man. I thank you for taking your time to be here with us today and for everything that you're doing for us. Thanks. Thanks. Get ready to go win some races. All right. See you at the races, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Take care. All right, now speaking of support and our last bit of news here today, uh, Ford uh, continues to focus our efforts in support of the grassroots drag racing. And so, you know, our Cobra Jet program began in 2008. It's been wildly successful, including a stunning display at the 2015 NHRA U.S. Nationals Factory Showdown Race, where we simply dominated the weekend. In fact, I can say that we are undefeated. Uh, many have asked, what would the future of the program be, given that the all-new Mustang has an independent rear suspension? Well, as you're about to see, Ford Performance is innovating in that space as well.
Cobra Jet Mustang. Dustin, what's that on the, uh, <laughs> on the motor up there, buddy? If that doesn't get your heart pumping, I don't know what will. It features an all-new, innovative four-link solid axle rear suspension. The only solid axle suspension that will exist in the Mustang and engineered solely for the drag racing uh, variant of the new car.